Hello everyone, here is a question on ratios. The question is, find the ratio of, we have four questions. First one is, 24 is to 84. So we have to find out the ratio. So they are all in a ratio form, then what we have to find out? We have to find out the lowest form. So 24 is to 84 is not in a lowest form or in a reduced form. And some people also call it a simplest form. So we have to cancel it and then we have to bring it to the smallest form or the reduced form. So number is 24 is to 84 and we know that all the ratios can be also written in a fractional form right so this will be equal to 24 by 84 now I'll try to reduce it by cancelling with a number which is which we which, which is both numbers are divisible like we have to find out the common factor here so both are even number and you can see that 24 and 84 we can cancel this in two table we can cancel this in four I'm going to cancel that in four here so four six are 24 and four 21s are right so we got here six upon 21 now again we can cancel this in 3, 6 and 21 goes in 3 table, so 3 2's are 6 and 3 7's are 21. So we got here 2 by 7 and the fraction, this is a fractional form, when you write this in a ratio form this will be equal to 2 is to 7. You can see 2 and 7 we cannot cancel this further, this is a reduced form, so 2 is to 7 is the answer. Now same way we are going to do the second question, but second question is quite different than the first one. In second one we have given 200 grams uh, is to 4 kg whenever you write in a ratio ratio should always be in a same unit then only we can able to compare them here you can see one is in gram and one is in kg we have to make everything in kg or everything in grams so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna convert this kg into grams instead of converting this 200 into kg because the number will go to a decimal we're gonna get here 0 0.2 I just want to avoid the decimal form I want to convert this kg into grams even you can do it grams into kg even that answer will be also correct okay so we know that one kg 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams so 4 kg will be equal to in 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams means 4 kg will be equal to 4 into 1000 right 4 into 1000 which is 4000 grams so this ratio I'm going to write it as so 200 grams is to 4 kg can be also written as 200 grams is to 4000 grams now you can see that both are in the same unit we can able to compare them so here I'll not gonna write down the grams the next step I'm gonna remove that and this will be equal to 200 is to 4000 but this is not in a reduced form we have to cancel this I want to convert this into fractional form so 200 by 4000 now cancel the zeros you can cancel this in 100 table I'm just canceling the zeros here so two zeros from the uh, from the uh, last you can just cancel them we got 2 by 40 so 2 by 40 we can cancel two table 2 ones are and 2 twenties are so this is equal to 1 by 20 or when you convert this into or when you write down this in a ratio form this will be equal to 1 is to 20 we cannot cancel this further so this is a ratio then the next one this is second question third one so in third question we have 36 minutes is to 2 hours right you can see one is in minute one is in hours again we have to convert everything in either in minutes or everything in hours I'm going to convert hours into minutes so we know that one hour is equal to 60 minutes right then two hours will be equal to 2 into 60 which is 120 2 into 60 minutes which is equal to 120 minutes now I'm going to find out the ratio so this will be equal to 36 minutes is to instead of 2 hours I'm going to write down 120 minutes so both are in the same unit we're going to find out the lowest form so this is equal to 36 upon 120 we can cancel this in 12 table directly you can can if you want to cancel this in 4 table or 2 table you can do it only thing is number of steps will be more to avoid that I'm directly cancelling in this in 12 table w like whichever table you cancel this your answer will be same so here 12 tens are 120 and 12 threes are is 36 we got here 3 by 10 so 3 by 10 and we cannot cancel this further so the ratio will be 3 is to 10 
then the next question this is last one so we have 250 ml is to 2 liters so you can see that they are again the units are not same we have to convert everything into same so 1 liter I'm going to convert liter to milliliter so 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliter right then 2 liters will be equal to 2 into 1000 which will be 2000 milliliters whenever you're converting a higher unit to smaller unit you have to multiply so 2 into 1000 which is 2000 milliliter now we're going to write down the ratio so this is 250 ml is to 2000 ml I will write down this in fractional form so this will be 250 upon 2000 I'm going to cancel the zeros we have 25 and we have 200 I'm going to cancel directly this in uh, 25 table or if you want to cancel this in 5 table you can go ahead ok let me cancel this in 5 table 5 5 is at 25 and 5 40 is at 200 again we want to cancel 5 and 40 5 1 is at 5 8 is at 40 so here we got 1 by 8 when you write down this in a ratio form this will be 1 is to 8 that's it that's it I hope this question is clear in case you have further questions or doubts you can drop a comment I'll try to make a video on it thank you so much for watching